everyone, I'm here today to talk about how to install a lace frontal wig. Um, I am going to show how to apply the glue and how to make a flawless look on your lace closure. I know I've gotten a few people asking me how I apply my wigs and how it looks so natural. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little tutorial on how that's done. I'm also going to give a six month, seven month review on this hair. It's from Wow African. I've had it in for about a while. Um, I took it off and on periodically throughout those months, but I'm going to give a review on how this hair has kept up. So stay tuned and keep watching. So I'm going to start off by giving a review on this hair. So like I said before, this hair is from Wild African. So pros is it still feels really soft. Um, I can still run my fingers through it. When I do run my fingers through it, um, I don't get that much shedding. Um, I'll just run my fingers through it right now and I don't get a strand. But periodically if I run my hands through it, more frequently I'll get one or two strands and it's been about seven months so that's really good not getting that much shedding if I brush my hair um, or comb it with a wide tooth comb I'll get a little more hairs coming out but if I just use my fingers to comb it through look it's just going through going through as far as washing it and straightening it again it gets back bone straight I wash this hair about four or five times already um, maybe a little more and I let it air dry and then flat iron it and it gets bone straight everything works wonders it holds a curl um, if I have hairspray if I curl my hair um, it will hold but it'll eventually fall but if I have hairspray with the curl on then it'll hold for longer throughout the whole day. It may drop a little bit but it still has that wave pattern which is what I like. Um, the lace hasn't tore which I'm expecting I haven't had a lace that's tore but it's hold it's held up. I can part it in different areas so um, I can just open it up and part it wherever I want it to be parted at. Like you see I can just push it back if I wanted to. I can, all types of ways I can um, play with this hair. It's very versatile. Put it up in a high bun, I can put it down, I can braid it, I can part it into a corn rolls. It's very versatile. I'm gonna put the information down below on where I got the hair so you can go to a direct link. Um, as far as price goes, it is a little, it's not that expensive to me. Based off of the quality of the hair, it's a deal for sure. For sure. It's about, I think, four something, $400. This hair will probably last me about two to three years. I can typically tell how well this hair will end up um, within six months to a year to see like how the longevity is. This hair, it works. It's really good. Like, it's really good hair. And it doesn't, doesn't matter up. It really, I can just do this all day and it works. And it's still giving me the same um, quality even six months, seven months down the line. So I really appreciate that from Wild African. It gives me two thumbs up for this hair. Um, if I had to scale it from one to ten on how well this hair is, um, for now I would say it's an eight. Um, I wouldn't say it's a ten only because it's of course not at the tip top shape as when I first got it. Um, I do see um, like split ends on the hair after you know you flat iron it so much you can kind of tell like the little little ends split at the bottom. I don't like that at all. I know I haven't had hair that hasn't done that after so long so I'm not sure if it's this is just normal. I know with like hair that grows out of your scalp you get split ends. Um, but you know, when you cut those, your hair grows. If you cut these, it ain't growing. So I try to just, you know, deep condition and make sure I let that sit for like an hour so it can like help like tame the ends, which it does. But you know, after so long, it starts to like frizz up again a little bit on the ends. So one thing I would say, it's and it's not really bad. Like if you look at these ends, 
you see you can kind of see the little split ends on all of the ends I don't care for that at all but it does it it works for now and for everything else that this hair how this hair is it makes up for it I will definitely purchase again I've only purchased the straight hair and um, this is a 24 inch it goes all can't really tell from <laughs> the um, video but it goes to my waist and I'm 5'1 so I do have a 24 inch everything the whole shebang is 24 inches there's no layers in it just straight 24 so um, and that goes to my waist like I said uh, but yeah if you have any questions more questions that I didn't answer in the video about this hair comment below or um, send me a message on my email I'll provide that so you can get a little more information if you needed any and now I'm gonna go into how I apply this hair and make it as natural as possible so first I am going to take it off so you guys can see how I put it on so first I have this cap on my head just a normal stocking cap um, I know there's people that um, have their hair braided down or they have it in a ponytail it's really up to you on how long you're gonna have it in your head and how secure you want it for me I sometimes have it in a ponytail sometimes I have it braided down and sewed down with the glue on my edges sometimes I don't have it sewed down I just have the glue on my edges because the glue is enough to just keep it secure it's really based off your preference or how long you're gonna keep it on for the times when I have my wig on for a month or longer, that baby's so down. Um, just cause I, if, or depending on what I'm doing, if I'm working with kids, um, I'm going to sew it down because I pick them up or I'm around them, they, people hug me. If it pulls because I have my hair long, I don't want it to move or something. I know with the glue it doesn't move, but just for my sanity <laughs> I just make sure it's sewed down so it ain't going nowhere it feels like it's in the scalp that's the kind of experience I want to have with my wigs but sometimes I don't first I put the cap on you can get this cap at your beauty supply store or any store Walmart whatever they have stocking caps for like a dollar or something I got mine at the beauty supply and it was a dollar ninety nine for two in a pack I usually get black I have tan ones just because it comes with my wigs when I buy them but I don't really care for them that much because you can kind of see the different colors throughout through the lace. I like black because it doesn't show at all in my opinion so I usually wear a black socking cap. Um, I make sure my edges are pushed in. Um, sometimes I leave them out a little bit. As you can see just a little bit out um push as much as i can in just because when i put the glue on i don't want it to really touch the hair i make sure i put it along my skin to where it's not going to touch my hair if i need it for some reason to push all my edges all the way in i'll get some edge control and make sure those things are slicked all the way into my um my cap but for now i really did for just for the video purposes i don't need to slick those things in um the glue I use to apply my wig is Insta Glue. It's this right here. This stuff right here is really good. Let me tell you, like you go this the wig gonna be on. Like you're not gonna feel like insecure or feel like ugh, like it's not gonna stay. I'm scared that's gonna come off. You're not gonna get that. You're gonna feel confident knowing this is going to lock that wig down. Um, or the lace frontal or the closure that you have it's gonna lock it down so I'd recommend getting this one or getting the um, old hold active um, lace glue um, that stuff I heard is really good especially if you're running you're sweating you're out in the club partying you're just building a sweat up since it is built for when you're active it's really good to hold that lace closure down um, I haven't tried it yet. I will try it though because I'm very excited to see how strong the hold is. But I also heard this one was just as good so I tried this one. Um, I've seen a lot of people, um, a lot of celebrities use, a lot of celebrity hairstylists use this on their celebrities. So I was like, well, let's just try it and see. So before you begin 
applying any glue you need to make sure the edging of your hair is clean um you can use alcohol or you can use um, a scalp protectant it's up to you you can buy any scalp protectant um, of your choice i have this scalp protectant it's from walker tape um it's looks like this in the bottle it's alcohol so it's up to you to is have some alcohol in your um cabinet or you can get this baby right here i have this i forgot i even had it so it was i was gonna either buy some alcohol or i was i found this and i was like oh yeah perfect like i haven't used it in a while and i forgot it was even in my drawer so i was like might as well use it for the video but you go ahead and apply this along the edging the purpose of this is to make sure the edging of your hair is clean you don't want any oils dirt particles you're gonna it's natural like even if you clean your face you're gonna get things on your face to where you need to make sure that surface is clean so the, the glue can hold as best as possible um so i'm making sure the edging of my hair has alcohol on it so it can get the best hold when i apply the glue on the edging of my hair I'm going to make sure that I apply a thin layer of the glue. The reason why I want you to apply a thin layer is because if you apply a thick layer, you're going to use a blow dryer to um, dry and um, dry the glue. If you have a thick layer of glue on your your forehead, it's going to take forever for it to dry. You're going to be sitting there, it's like, ugh, you don't want that to happen. So now that that's out the way. I'm going to go ahead and apply this wig. Be careful not to like get any hairs or like baby hairs that's on the edge on the wig or on the glue um, too soon. Of course, like it's fine like if it gets on a little bit, but you don't want it to get too like like too much on it. So just be careful with that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll put the wig on. that on flip it over and then it the glue is right here so I'm gonna go ahead and just lay the edges okay let me see lay the edges right on the glue so we pull that back a little bit and go ahead and lay it on the glue so I usually have a rat tooth comb so I'll go ahead and push it down you know how I said don't really use your fingers that much this is about that time where you can use this to help lay the edges down without touching it and it'll go ahead and just it'll really lay right on that um that glue and fall right into your skin sometimes you'll get some hair stuck on the glue just pull them out really quick and play with it while it's still drying because it's not dry it's just tacky right now so you can manipulate it as much as you can while it's still tacky um just make sure you are you can use this to help lay them down you can pull this up and then press it down sometimes with your hand a little bit and then try to finish it off with the rat tooth comb but yeah you can go ahead and just a little go in between the hairs and lay that baby down and then you'll feel when it's like secure you're like okay <laughs> it ain't going nowhere so while it's tacking i'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with using a blow dryer one more time just so it can dry it on in place okay so now it is locked down you can play with it do what you want it's pretty it's on there like if i pull right now it's not going anywhere like as you can see i'm pulling this it's not going anywhere like literally that's my hair head moving um it's not going anywhere and if you sew it down the back of course it can lift it because it's not sewed down but it's, it's not going anywhere um if you want to pull keep trying doing a tester tester it's not going anywhere it's, it's really not gonna go anywhere you put water on it it's not gonna go anywhere <laughs> trust me I tried so um this is how I apply my lace 
another tip I want to um, give you guys is when you apply the um, glue, make sure it's clear when you put the um, wig on. Make sure there's no white showing. If you rush it and you'll put it on while it's still white, it will show through your lace. I've done it and it wasn't pretty. So, and it doesn't go anywhere. It stays white right there. It doesn't even dry clear even though the lace is on there, which you may think it does. It doesn't. It stays white and it's irritating. So, <laughs> there was ways on how I, I removed it, but you don't have to do that if you just wait. Be patient and just let the um, blow dry do its job. Let it get clear, tacky, and then go ahead and apply that wig on. So, make sure you do that. Don't fall in the mistake that I fell into. So, um, make sure they use a removal like solution to take it off. Don't try to pull it off because if it is touching any type of hair that you forgot was touching, it's going to pull that baby off. So, just make sure that you use some type of um, removal solution in order for it to be easy on your skin and any baby hairs that it may catch on or any just facial hair because you have we have little like peach fuzz hairs all on our face you don't want to just pull things off when it don't need to be off or it irritates your skin so just follow the proper you know hair regimens it's really worth its money like I bought cheap hair for like a hundred some dollars and it's just like crazy like I'd rather spend a little more on hair that's gonna last me three times as long than hair that's gonna last me one month because it's like shedding like crazy and I'm not walking out the house with hair everywhere like when I go out and about I want to be able to do this I want to be able to do this I want to be able to do all this and I I can't if it's shedding like crazy because I don't want to touch it. It looks good if I don't touch it. No, I want it to look good while I'm touching it, when I'm not touching it, you know. I don't touch it that much, but you know, occasionally you just do this when you're bored or something. <laughs> I can't even do that for some hairs. Um, so for this hair that I'm able to like play with it, drag my fingers through it and it doesn't go crazy with all the shedding, it gives me two thumbs up. I find it to be awesome and I know you guys will really enjoy this hair um, if you're wanting something that's really natural um, so it doesn't look like a wig like that's what we all go for is having a wig that doesn't look like a wig yeah I hope you guys like the video and now I really just placed it on but it comes bleached the knots are bleached Cause I like asked for it to be that way. When you order the hair, they're gonna ask you, do you want your ble your knots bleached? Do you want the adjustable strap in the back? Um